Hello everyone. Today I am discussing about the remaining part of the test sensation. First of all, primary test sensation. The primary or fundamental test sensation are divided into five types: sweet, salt, sour, bitter, and umami. Psychophysiological and neurophysiological studies have identified at least 13 probable chemical receptor in the test cells, and these are two sodium receptors, two potassium receptor, one chloride receptor, one adenosine receptor, one inosine receptor, two sweet receptors, two bitter receptors, one glutamate receptor, and one hydrogen ion receptors. person can perceive hundreds of different taste they are all thought to be combination of the elementary taste sensation sour taste so sour taste is caused by acids that is by hydrogen ion concentration and the intensity of this test sensation is approximately proportional to the logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration so more the acidity the food the stronger the sour sensation becomes why are organic acids more sour than mineral acids so the sour taste that is due to hydrogen and the degree sourness is proportional to the degree of the dissociation of the hydrogen from an acid that is why the organic acids are more sour for a given hydrogen ion concentration than are mineral acids now sour test ions that depolarize the test cells by blockage of apical ion channel by protein as shown in figure the sour taste can result from either the passage of the hydrogen through amyloride sensitive sodium channel or from the blockage of the potassium channels which are normally open at the resting membrane potential some acids have other taste as well for example citric acid is sweet as well as sour picric acid is bitter and sour amino acids may taste sour bitter sweet or salty depending on the concentration salty taste Salty taste is elicited by ionized salt mainly by the sodium ion concentration. The quality of the taste varies from one salt to another because some salts elicit other taste sensation in addition to saltiness. The cations of the salts, especially sodium cations, are mainly responsible for the salty taste, but and ions also for example pure salty taste is sodium chloride it is produced by sodium ion salt stimuli depolarize the salt receptor cells by influx of the sodium through epithelial sodium channel to trigger the release of the glutamic acid for example application of the sodium channel blocking diuretic amyloride directly to the tongue that abolishes the ability to taste salt now the anions also contributes to the taste of salts but the cation can modify the anionic effect for example potassium salts tend to be bitter as well as salty and potassium iodide is only bitter 
source of the heavy metals such as mercury have a metallic taste and lead lead acetate salt a sweet taste now salty test tanks that depolarize the test cells by activating an amyloride sensitive sodium channel sweet test that is not caused by any single class of the chemicals some of the types of the chemicals that cause this taste include sugars glycol alcohol aldehydes ketones amides esters some amino acids some small proteins sulfonic acids halogenated acid and inorganic salts of lead and beryllium not specifically that most of the substances that cause a sweet taste are organic chemical it is specially interesting that slight changes in the chemical structure such as the addition of the simple radical can also change the substance from sweet to bitter for instance d leucine is sweet whereas l leucine is bitter concentration of the substance may also affect its taste for example very dilute solution of the sodium chloride is sweet instead of salty sweet test tanks are known to depolarize the test cells by two different mechanism first of all by activating adenylate cyclase so some sweet receptors binds to g protein and that interacts with the cyclic adenyl cyclase and causing an increase in the cyclic amp and that leads to closing of the potassium channel so since these channels are normally open at the resting membrane potential and they are closer that leads to depolarization of the test cells so these are the sweet substance that binds to receptor and that complex binds to g protein and that interacts with the adenyl cyclase and that causes a increase in the cyclic amp and that leads to closing of the potassium channel so this channel is normally open at the resting membrane potential and their closer leads to depolarization of the test cells second mechanism by stimulating inositol triphosphate production some sweet test tanks are also thought to be bind to receptor that couple to g protein and that stimulates the inositol triphosphate production and this increase in the inositol triphosphate to cause the release of the calcium from the intracellular stores the test sensation is not the same for all the sugars for example fructose is sweeter than the sucrose whereas maltose galactose and lactose are less sweet than glucose synthetic sweeteners like saccharin that are used as a substitutes for the sucrose in diabetic patient and obese person in whom the sugar intake must be reduced bitter test bitter test like the sweet test is not caused by any single type of the chemical agent and the substance that give the bitter test are almost entirely organic substances two particular class of the substances are specially to cause the bitter test sensation first is long chain organic substances that contain nitrogen then alkaloids the alkaloids includes many of the drugs used in medicines such as quinine caffeine strychnine and nicotine some substances that initially taste sweet have a bitter after taste the characteristic is of true of the saccharin which makes this substance objectionable to some people
the bitter taste when it occurs in a high intensity usually causes the person or animal to reject the food and this reaction is undoubtedly an important function of the bitter taste sensation because many deadly toxins found in the poisonous plants are alkaloids and all of these alkaloids cause bitter taste and usually followed by rejection of the food bitter taste stands are known to depolarize the taste cells by three different mechanism first of all by stimulating inositol triphosphate production some bitter taste stands are thought to bind to receptor these are the bitter substance binds to receptor that coupled to g protein and that stimulates the inositol triphosphate production and inositol triphosphate that increases the intracellular calcium level and that leads to release of the synaptic transmitter and causes activation of the gustatory nerve fibers so first mechanism is by stimulating the inositol triphosphate production second mechanism by lowering the intracellular level of cyclic amp and cyclic gmp so receptor for the some bitter taste stands may be coupled to g protein and the g protein that activates a phosphodiesterase that may reduce intracellular levels of both cyclic amp and cyclic gmp third mechanism is by blocking the potassium channel so at least one bitter stimuli the quinin may depolarize the taste cells by blocking the potassium channel fifth is umami taste so umami a japanese word meaning delicious that designates a pleasant taste sensation that is qualitatively different from the sour salty sweet or bitter umami is the dominant taste of food containing l glutamate such as meat extracts and aging cheese and some physiologists consider it to be a separate fifth category of the primary taste stimuli now a taste receptors for the l glutamate may be related to one of the glutamate receptors that are also expressed in neuronal synapses of the brain the precise molecular mechanism responsible for the umami taste are still unclear umami taste that is transduced by a specific type of metabotropic glutamate receptors and agonist are purine five ribonucleotides such as amp and gmp in the food the way that produces depolarization is still unsettled now monosodium glutamate consumption has been implicated in a collection of the symptoms that are known as chinese restaurant syndrome which some people experience after eating chinese food and the symptom complex that includes headache flushing sweating perioneal numbness tingling and chest pains and occasionally more severe symptoms such as cardiac arrhythmias and airway swelling and obstruction so all these symptoms collectively they are seen in a chinese restaurant syndrome although monosodium glutamate has not been proven to cause this syndrome the food and drug administration has mandated that food labels include monosodium glutamate warning fat test so review paper by digress pesili and 
best not raises the possibility of a universal function of cd36 as a gustatory lipid sensor so this is a link of this review paper now distribution of the four primary test sensation there are special areas on the surface of the tongue for each of the four conventional basic types of the test sweet test are detected best at the tip of the tongue salty and sour test originate from the sides and bitter test that are sensed best at the base of the tongue and this concept is the labeled line hypothesis now the mid dorsum of the tongue that is insensitive to old taste mid dorsum of the tongue that is insensitive to old taste now it is now clear that no tongue or test map accurately indicates the regional area of the particular sensitivity to different taste all the taste are sensed from all the parts of the tongue and adjacent structures containing the taste buds and each taste bud is innervated by about 15 nerve fibers and conversely each nerve fiber receives inputs from a average of 5 taste buds and this concept features roughly label line and population coding micro electrode studies from a single test bud so that each test bud usually responds mostly to one of the five primary test stimuli when the test substance is in a low concentration however at a very high concentration most of the buds can be excited by two or more of the primary test stimuli in main there are no test receptors which respond to distilled water whereas in dog cat pig and monkey such test receptors do occur now what is test threshold so test threshold refers to minimum concentration at which a substance can be perceived and there are certain substances and its thresholds are given and that is needed for test bud so these are a certain substances their test and their threshold concentration so this one is a bitter substance strychnine hydrochloride bitter test and threshold concentration micromole per liter 1.6 Now, bitter substances tends to have the lowest threshold. Some toxic substances, such as strychnine, have a bitter taste at a very low concentration, preventing a accidental ingestion of this chemical, which causes fatal convulsion. Intensity discrimination. So, ability of the human. to discriminate differences in the intensity of the test like intensity discrimination in olfaction is crude about 30% change in the concentration of the substance being tested is necessary before an intensity difference can be detected now women are more sensitive to sweet and salt and less sensitive to sour now what is test contrast and after taste it is a common experience that after swallowing a bitter pill if some sweet substance is taken its sweetness appears to be enhanced similarly bitter taste is enhanced if the bitter substance is followed by sweet one and this represents a contrasting feature in the test sensation
if one border of the tongue is rubbed with the sodium chloride the sensitivity of the sweetness of the opposite border that is enhanced and the taste of the some substance may cling to the tongue for some time after once being tasted and that is known as after taste and it is due to adherence of the stimulating substances in the taste pore which has not been washed out either by the saliva or by any washing fluid now what is the test blindness so some people are test blind for certain substances specially for the different types of thiourea compound a substance is used frequently by psychologist for demonstrating the test blindness is phenyl thiocarbamide for which about 15 to 30% of all the people that exhibits a test blindness then what are the factors that affect the test sensation so first of all area of stimulation so the perception of the sense of the test is directly proportional to the area of the test bud stimulated therefore stimulation of the small area of the tongue by one drop of the solution that produces weaker sensation than the same solution by whole mouth then temperature of the test tank an optimal response to test producing substance that is obtained when their temperature is between 30 to 40 degree centigrade then age of person so after the age of the 40 the number of the test buds starts decreasing that results in blurring of the test sensation so in old age the test sensation deteriorates then sex in general the women are more sensitive to sweet and salt and is less sensitive to sour then adaptation the test sensation adapts rapidly when the test producing substance is kept for a long time in one place in the mouth the adaptation is peripheral and this occurs due to decrease in the discharge of the afferent nerve fibers over the time then interaction between the test producing substances it also affects the test sensation for example reduction of the sour taste of the fruit by sucrose is a well known phenomenon then effects of the test modifying protein so test modifier protein that is known as miraculin that has been discovered in a west african plant when applied to the tongue this protein that makes the acid test sweet gymnemic acid when applied to the tongue that abolishes the sensation of the sweet but does not affect the other test sensation then effect of drugs some drugs containing sulfadryl groups such as captopril and penicillamine they tend to cause the temporary loss of taste nutrient deficiency the preference for the salty food arises in the salt deficiency and calorie deficiency produces preference for the sweet food then culture and habit as the food habit is different in a various cultures the brought up and habit of a person also affect his taste then after effects if the illness occurs following the ingestion of a new food aversion develops towards that food and this may be due to structural and functional alteration in the higher order 
and cortical neurons a central phenomenon what is super tester then what are the characteristic features of the super tester so in super testers it has been found that the some people have more than normal number of the test papillae and test buds and they are distinguished by their increased density of fungiform papillae and their extreme sensitivity to chemical and propyl thiouracil super tester tend to tend not to like green vegetables and fatty foods and this has a genetic origin and the gene responsible is tas2 r38 there are a number of the dna variation and called polymorphism of this gene now applied aspect of the test sensation first of all agusia so agusia refers to absence of the test sensation then what are the causes of agusia so lesion of the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve through lingual branch of which the coda tympani now reaches the tongue that causes loss of the test sensation in the anterior two third of the tongue then lesion of facial nerve that also leads to loss of test sensation in the anterior two third of the tongue lesion of the glossopharyngeal nerve that are associated with the absence of the test sensation from the posterior one third of the tongue now drugs like the captopril and penicillamine which contain the sulfadrel groups causes a temporary loss of test sensation and the reason for this effect of the sulfadrel group is not known then familial dysautonomia it is a congenital widespread sensory disorders and that is characterized by absence of the test sensation associated with other abnormalities such as postural hypotension lacrimation hyporeflexia and insensitivity to temperature and noxious stimuli then hypogeusia hypogeusia refers to diminished test sensitivity in this the test sensation are not completely lost but there occurs an increase in the threshold for the different test sensation and many different condition can produce hypogeusia a deficiency of vitamin b12 or zinc tobacco chewing and aging then dysgeusia that refers to disturbed sense of the taste it is a feature of the temporal lobe syndrome particularly when the anterior region of the temporal lobe is affected and patient usually experiences paroxysmal hallucination of the taste and smell which are usually unpleasant then selective taste blindness so selective test blindness it is an inherited autosomal recessive trait and characterized by elevated threshold for phenyl thiocarbamide so phenyl thiocarbamide that is a chemical substance with a very bitter taste some individuals are also known as non tester for phenyl thiocarbamide and the defect is highly selective probably there is a particular receptor protein which is not synthesized in these individuals then hypersensitivity to test that is known as super tester particularly to bitter test then test disturbances that also occurs in a condition in which the levels of the norepinephrine and serotonin that are altered during anxiety and depression because 
this substances acts as a neuromodulators and thus contribute towards the altered test threshold administration of the 5 hydroxy tryptamine reuptake inhibitor that reduces the sensitivity to sucrose and quinine in contrast the administration of the norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor that reduces the bitter test and sore threshold now about 25% of the population has a increased sensitivity to test in particular to bitterness these individuals are called super testers and this may be due to the presence of increased number of the fungiform papillae on their tongue so after studying this chapter you should be able to describe the location and cellular composition of test bud then name the five major test modalities and compare the signal transduction mechanism in the receptors mediating these different test modalities then label the components of the pathway by which the impulses generated in test receptors reach the gustatory region of the insular cortex then name and discuss the abnormalities in the test sensation then comments so first of all if we have to swallow a medicine we usually avoid it to touch the tongue why and in old days the test sensation deteriorates why then organic acids more sore than mineral acids why then there are a certain mcqs
ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਮੌਤ ਚ